Six black hole fundamentals. Cementing us to the recliners we inhabit, gravity is a force most visually obvious when we see something fall to the ground. In our universe, mass attracts mass. Heavier objects are, as I'm sure you will agree, much more attractive. Earth is incredibly heavy, so we generally don't get away from its gravity well without the use of highly explosive rockets. Then there's the Sun, which is so heavy that even the Earth is falling into it. Don't worry though, as we're going pretty fast and keep missing it, along with the other planets. This is called an orbit, and everything with mass is orbiting something bigger. Yes, even our Sun orbits something. Deep at the center of our galaxy, there's something so heavy that you literally can't see it, because all of the light fell into it. Today, we're going to take a look at the six black hole fundamentals. Number six, the basics. When something becomes so heavy that even light can't escape its gravity, lots of stuff stops making sense. You can't actually see it, only the effect it has on the environment. They aren't actually black. They don't actually look like anything. For a black hole to have physical appearance, it would need to be able to reflect light into our eyes. No, the perfect pitch black hole we envision is a literal hole burnt into our visual canvas. The size and mass of a black hole can be calculated by other factors. Any object would take on the properties of a black hole if it was condensed to a certain size relating to its mass. For instance, if the Earth was the same weight it is now but the size of a peanut, it would be so dense that it would become a black hole. No one has worked out how to do that yet, neither should they. Stars, though, are experts at this. Stars are enormous balls of white-hot matter, incredibly heavy, often with orbiting bodies like planets and asteroids. Stars are kept in this ball shape by counteracting pressures. Heat radiation from within pushes outwards into space, but its gravity keeps it a perfect hot bubble. As with any chemical reaction, though, fuel eventually runs out. The material in the core of a star cooks from hydrogen and helium all the way down to iron. It's at this point that the heat being produced is no longer able to keep pace with the weight of this beast. The outer layer of this balloon pops, spraying plasma out into the universe, which will clump together into new stars. The core cools and suddenly only has to contend with its immense gravity. It is a losing fight, and just as the heat expelled matter out, the gravity condenses the core infinitely. Pop, and suddenly what was once a star is now a hole burnt into the night sky. Number 5. Some History now, if we can't see them, we probably shouldn't get close enough to touch one. And they are such a bizarre concept. Where on earth did the idea come from? Maths, naturally. In 1784, a clergyman called John Michel published a letter speculating about what would happen if something was so heavy that light couldn't escape it. He even mused on how we would only be able to see these invisible oddities by their gravitational effects on other objects. Perhaps any unexpected orbital trajectories of planets and stars could be explained by invisible yet immensely heavy objects. Michel's idea was exciting to the scientific world but remained speculative science fiction until the work of Albert Einstein gave us reason to have a proper look. After proving that light could indeed be affected by gravity with his theory of general relativity, other physicists like Carl Schwarzschild got to work. They uncovered, amongst other things, that in Einstein's equations it is entirely possible for an object to have so much mass that they could be condensed to a singular, infinitely small point. A singularity. By 1939, Robert Oppenheimer, the man often cited as inventing the nuclear bomb, and others concluded that there were no laws of physics that would be able to stop something as massive as a collapsed star from falling into its own surface infinitely. The so-called golden age of black hole research came in the mid-20th century. Physicists such as David Finkelstein identified the circumference of the hole we see as its event horizon. 
This is the point of no return. It's where the light disappears, so it's where you would too if you fell into it. Now, as I've banged on about, you can't see a black hole. But in 2019, we did. Or at least, NASA managed to get a photograph of the enormous ring of fire spiraling deep into the core of the black hole at the center of Galaxy M87. This is indisputable evidence for the invisible dragons we cohabitate with in this strange universe. Number 4. Some Infamous Black Holes There's a particularly bright and very compact object at the center of our galaxy. A cluster of thick hot gas so heavy that it drags all of the stars around it like a whirlpool. Sound familiar? Sagittarius A is likely a supermassive black hole. Our Sun is just one of the billions that are slowly falling into its event horizon. The Andromeda Galaxy is the same. Nothing that we know of is heavy enough to keep so many celestial objects in its grasp. Andromeda has roughly twice the amount of stars than the Milky Way, which suggests its black hole is considerably more massive. 4C plus 37.11 is the charming name of a galaxy that is made up of two supermassive black holes that orbit each other. Spinning in lockstep, these enormous gravitational sinks will finally fall into each other in a few million years. If we're around to see that happen, we would be watching the most violent game of conquers physically possible. We just simply don't know what will happen. Number 3. The Dangers Okay, but what would happen if you touched one? Well, don't. Not that you could, but if you got close enough to the event horizon to touch it, everything you think you know would fall apart. First, touching the event horizon would be the last thing you did with your hand. Not only is light unable to escape, but neither can anything in physical space. The event horizon is just the point that nothing can escape from, rather than a physical barrier. We get the illusion of a surface only from the fact that we can see surfaces. And when the light stops, we assume it's a surface. No, your hand would, if it didn't drag you in with it, freeze and then slowly shift red, then disappear. Light tints blue when it is compressed, and red when it is stretched. You wouldn't see your hand being sucked in. You would simply see a snapshot of the last moment before the light bouncing from your hand shifted into red, and then nothing. We don't know exactly what would happen to your hand physically, but it would likely spaghettify, which means that it would stretch out into a beam of matter one particle thick. Luckily, it would be impossible to see this happen. Number 2. The Strange Time and space are connected. If you go fast enough in space, time for you will slow down. This is actually a practical observation, as it needs to be taken into account when engineers work on GPS systems. Satellites zooming around in orbit need to account for their speed as the time dilation can throw off the pinpoint accurate readings they beam down to Earth. When you have something as heavy as a black hole with an infinite pull on space, it also exerts an infinite pull on time. The closer you get, the slower time is. This means it's actually impossible to reach the center of a black hole, as it would be like swimming in a soup that just kept getting thicker. It would take an infinite amount of time to reach its singularity. Gravitational lensing is another incredible example of the power of gravity. Light bulges and warps even when it passes safely around a black hole. If a black hole was to pass in front of a bright galaxy, we would see that galaxy warp and distort around the bubble. It is of course completely safe from harm, but the light reaching our eyes has had to wrap its way around the object to even get to us. Number 1. Portals to Other Worlds if you were to imagine the fabric of space-time in 2D rather than 3D, and every object with mass causing an indentation, then what effect would something that has infinite mass have? A bottomless well, of course. Now, what if that bottomless well pierced another fabric, or perhaps even an overlapping part of our fabric? This is the wild theory of wormholes a way of traveling vast distances in our universe or traversing to others. 
black holes have been speculated to be some of the only objects in the universe dense enough to make this theoretically possible. Perhaps the singularity of a black hole is a complete dead end. But just maybe, it's the halfway point to another galaxy somewhere trillions of miles away. How heavy are you? Do people and opportunities flock to your charm? We are sure they do, and we're also sure that you'll find one or two in the comments down below. What was your favorite black hole fact? Tap us a like and subscribe if you want more content for your curiosity.